Hello everyone, my name is Olivia and thank you for joining me in my living room to read a book. Today the book that we're going to be reading is called Two Old Potatoes and Me. So let's get started. Now this book is written by John Coy and the pictures are by Carolyn Fisher. Last spring at my dad's house, I found two old potatoes in the back of the cupboard. They were so old, sprouts were growing from their eyes. Gross! I tossed them in the trash. Wait, Dad said. I think we can grow new potatoes with those. I'll call your grandpa. He'll know. After talking to Grandpa, Dad and I took the potatoes to the sunniest spot in the garden. We dug. We picked out rocks. We raked the soil smooth. Dad carefully cut the potatoes into nine pieces with his jackknife. I made sure each piece had at least one yellow sprout. Dad dug, Dad dug nine small holes. I put a piece of potato with the eye facing up in each hole. Then I covered, with them, covered them with dirt to make little hills. Dad got the hose and I watered gently. In May, green plants poked up like caterpillars unfolding. We got down on our knees and picked weeds. We shoveled compost onto each hill. Won't that smother the plants? No, they'll grow through it. Are we really going to get new potatoes from old potatoes? I think so, said Dad. The plants grew bigger, violet flowers blossomed, and we added more compost. When we watered, I accidentally sprayed my dad with the hose. He laughed and sprayed me back. In July, when the plants were as tall as my waist, we picked potato pea beetles off the leaves. I dropped them into a pail of soapy water. Gross. We have to do this, Dad said. Otherwise, the bugs will eat the leaves and the potatoes won't grow. In August, some of the plants turned brown and withered. Are they dead? No, said Dad. The potatoes are growing underground. Are you sure? I hope so. That's what your grandpa said. We weeded. We watered. We waited. Now, on a cool September day, Dad and I sit on the bench in front of the garden. How's your bedroom at your mom's house coming? Dad asked. Good. Mom and I painted it periwinkle. Periwinkle? I like that color. I bet it looks good. You can see it on Friday when you pick me up. Okay, Dad says. It will be periwinkle Friday. We get up and walk to the garden. What's your favorite way to eat potatoes? Dad asked. Mashed with lots of butter and a sprinkle of nutmeg for good luck. Mmm, that's my favorite too. Let's see what's under these hills. Dad gets the garden fork from the shed and I carry the big bucket. Dad digs at the first hill Nothing but dirt. He digs again. More dirt. After all that work, I say? Dad hands me the fork. You try. I dig deep. I lift the fork and I see seven golden shapes. Potatoes, I shout. Look at those spuds, Dad says. I bend down, pick up a potato, Rub the dirt off, the, off its skin and set it in the bucket. Wow, 
One potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Each hill has lots of potatoes. Some are small, some are big, some have funny faces. Fifty-one potato, fifty-two potato, fifty-three potato, fifty-four. 55 potato, 56 potato, 57 potato, more. I count 67 and our bucket is overflowing. All this from two old potatoes? Yes, dad rubs my head. Ready for some mashers with lots of butter and a sprinkle of nutmeg for good luck? Yeah, I'm hungry. And then we have the recipe over here for the mashed potatoes that they made. The end. Thank you all so much for coming to my living room and reading Two Old Potatoes with me. Have a good day.